Hi, and welcome to Chemistry 1032 Lab instructional videos. I am your host, Dr. Russell Betts, and I'll be leading you through today's video. Today's video is entitled Safety. Now, safety in the lab is paramount. It's the most important thing that we teach, and it's the one thing that we do not get lenient on. We never, ever, ever compromise safety. Now, the first step in being safe in the lab is safety goggles. I know they don't look nice, they don't fit right, they're uncomfortable, they steam up, they get foggy, and they're just horrible to wear. And we're still going to wear them. Why? Because we're required to by Broward College, and they're the safest things you can put on your face in the lab. Your eyes will be well protected using these. I know there are other safety glasses on the market. We don't use them. We use safety goggles. Safety goggles are by far the safest thing you can wear. They are uncomfortable, but you will get used to them after some time, or you won't, but you're still going to wear them. Now, I'll put mine on to show you that even I have to wear them. And in fact, when I come into a lab, I don't feel comfortable unless I'm wearing them. And I certainly won't approach you or have you approach me if I don't have them on. They're your first best weapon against unsafe things in the lab. Now the next thing you might want to try wearing are gloves. At Broward College we have non-latex safety gloves. Now I'll just put a pair on just to demonstrate. They fit, you know, relatively snug, not too bad. They're made of nitrile. They are pretty impermeable to most things, but once you get them soiled, once you have something spilled on them, just take them off, throw them in the garbage, and get a new pair. Don't wear soiled gloves because you may contaminate yourself or somebody else in the process. Now, a really good habit to get into in a lab before you leave is to wash your hands. In this lab, we have two sinks that have hot water. There's one right here, and there's another one on the other side of the lab. Before you leave, I would recommend just giving your hands a quick wash with soap and water and using paper towels to just dry them off, just to make sure that there's nothing on your hands that may contaminate you or your loved ones or your home or anything like that. Now, this is the basic safety equipment, goggles, gloves. Oh, and I should have mentioned lab coats. You know, lab coats are stylish. Everyone likes a nice lab coat. But we don't really require them at, in this lab. We recommend them highly, but we're not going to make you go out and buy one if you don't want to or you don't already have one. We do have an assortment of black aprons, lab aprons you can wear, which I recommend you put on if you don't have a lab coat. That way you can protect some of your nicer clothes in case you've uh, worn something a little bit too expensive to lab. Now, let's move on to some of the uh, larger pieces of safety equipment that every lab should have. Now that we've learned about preventative measures we can take in the lab, such as goggles and gloves and lab coats, let's sort about some of the equipment we have on hand in case things do go wrong and someone does get hurt or exposed to chemicals. The first thing we have is the emergency eyewash station. The emergency eyewash station is designed to basically flood your eyes with lots of water. When something gets in your eyes, it's because you weren't wearing your safety goggles. So wear your safety goggles and this won't happen. But if it does happen, Get over here to the eye wash station. Someone's probably going to have to help you because your eyes are probably going to be closed because it's going to hurt. You're going to have to come to the eye wash station, push the paddles back, the water will start to flow, and you're going to have to open your eyes so that the, the water can flow over your eyeballs to wash out whatever's inside. You may have to pry them open. Now, we hope that never happens to you. And quite honestly, I've never ever seen a student have to use it because I'm quite diligent at making sure you have your safety glasses on. The next piece of equipment I want to introduce you to is the deluge shower, or other people call it an emergency shower. If you're working in the lab and you spill a large amount of chemical on yourself, doesn't matter what it is, because you really don't know what it is, unless you know you spill it on yourself, which hopefully you won't do. Get yourself over here, pull this handle, stand under the deluge shower. Now, if you have your safety goggles on, leave them on. If you didn't have them on, which you should, but if you didn't, leave them on. Let the water cascade over you and start removing your clothing. I know, I know, no one really wants to get naked in the lab, but that's what you have to do because the clothes that were at once protecting you are now a liability to you and you have to remove them. We'll do our very best to protect your modesty here at Broward College. The next piece of equipment I want to lead you to is the bloodborne pathogen kit up here. If you cut yourself, this is what we have to use to help treat that. Um, it's just for everyone's protection so that no one gets uh, any kind of bloodborne illness or anything like that. Below that is the 
uh, fire extinguisher, fire blanket cabinet. Let's open that up. Here we have a fire blanket that's used to smother fire. So if someone finds themselves on fire, uh, the, and you can't get to the deluge shower, if you're, if you're on fire and you can get over here and pull the handle, do so. The water will definitely put the fire out. If not, stop, drop, and roll. Yell for help. Someone will grab the fire blanket. We'll get down on the ground with you. Now don't jump on the person who's on fire. Just get down on the ground with them. Put this blanket on them and try to protect their face. You're trying to prevent flames from getting into their face. We try to smother the, the fire with this blanket. We also have fire extinguishers. Now you don't want to use a fire extinguisher on a person unless you absolutely have to. Fire blanket is what you really want to use. But here we have a fire extinguisher. Fire extinguisher is used to put out fires in the lab. Pull the nozzle out, yank the pin, aim at the base of the fire, and then pass the extinguisher material at the base of the fire. Don't try to snow extinguisher material down onto the fire. That just won't work. Aim at the base, give the handle some quick squeezes, and the fire should go out. We have two fire extinguishers in the lab, one right here, and one down here, the gray one, is down there. Last but certainly not least, we have a first aid kit. Well-stocked first aid kit has bandages, uh, antiseptics, not that kind of stuff that you may uh, need while you're in the lab. Hopefully, we'll never have to use any of this equipment because I really try to run a safe atmosphere in a safe lab. Um, Broward College has a pretty good safety record because we're so diligent with safety. Now with that, I ask you to please watch the safety video that's online. Also, do the safety quiz that's online. It is required for this course. Hi, my name is Dion Antigua, and this video will be showing you how to use the eye wash station. As you can see here, I have my goggles around my neck. Obviously, they're not supposed to go on your neck, nor on your forehead, like some kind of head warmer. They're supposed to go over your eyes. Secured, not too tight, but still secured enough that if anything were to spill on you, it wouldn't get into your eyes. Now, since my goggles are on my neck, as uh, per Dr. Bet's request, I am going to demonstrate how to use the eye wash station. To use the eye wash station, you're going to press back this lever. The cover should just come right off like that. You're going to want the water level to get pretty high and just put your face in there. Try to position your eyes in the water. Try to open your eyes and roll around the water beneath your eyelids to try and wash whatever you may have spilled to come out. You're going to want to, want to do this for a while to allow anything that may have spilled to completely or mostly be washed out. And that's how you use the eye wash station. Now that you've seen the safety equipment, seen how the eye wash station works, let's take a look at the shower a little more closely. Here we have the handle. This is the handle you would pull in an emergency. As you can see, it works really well. You get really, really wet and really cold. Now if you were wearing your safety glasses, you would have left them on. I didn't have mine on at the time, so I left them off. I hope you enjoyed this video.